Fun fact. China's paramilitary force is the largest in the world, standing at 4,100,000. In Nazi Germany, the SS and SA were considered to be paramilitary forces. Hello everyone, I have another knife review for you today. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the Spyderco Paramilitary. This knife I got in a trade from a friend here on YouTube, Levi. His channel name is Knives and Stuff 45. Really great guy, has some awesome knives and does some great videos. So if you guys aren't subscribed to him, definitely go over to his channel and check him out. I also want to say thanks Levi, I really have been enjoying this knife. I hope you enjoy the Eclipsa. So uh, in this video we're going to be taking a look at this guy, going over some specifications and just talking about the knife in general. Alright, so let's uh, get in with some specifications. All right, the overall length on this guy is 7 and 7 eighths inches long, so it's a fairly large knife. All right, not uh, as large as his bigger brother, the, the military. All right, so this is definitely a size decrease. All right, the blade length is 3 inches long, All right, a very well-rounded size for an EDC or utility knife. All right, weight comes in at 3.7 ounces, so it does have some weight to it. But with a, a knife this size, you should expect that. All right, the handle material is a foliage green G10, which is a really nice look, I think. All right, and the blade steel is a CPM D2. All right, the, mil the paramilitary and the military um, also come in an SWV, which is what most of them are. Uh, this is the, the D2 version, which I've really enjoyed and really liked. Really nice steel for what I'm using it for and haven't had any problems with it. So I've been very happy with that. All right. Again, these are the foliage green G10 scales. I really like the texturing that Spyderco does on these G this G10. It's not overly aggressive, but it definitely provides uh, sufficient traction for really getting a good grip and a good purchase on the knife. It's really nice. I don't like... I actually think the, the G10 on the persistence and the tenacious is a little bit over aggressive. At least for me, for EDC, it, it kind of mars up your pocket when you pull it in and out. And this, uh, the G10 texturing on this one really doesn't, you know, hurt it too bad, and, and it's, it's sufficient enough uh, for what I'm using it for. All right, you can see you do have a black and Spyderco pocket clip, and it does have some wear marks on there. It is kind of scuffing off after use, but it just gives the knife some character. Unfortunately, you cannot swap it from any other position than what it is in now, which is right hand side tip down, which is okay. But I do like, you know, when Spyderco gives you options to. You know, put it in all four positions like they do on the Idelica and Endura and several other models. Alright, this is the older version of the paramilitary. They do have a newer version that <clears throat> has some slight changes. One would be that you have a larger landing hole, you have some larger hardware, uh, you know, different size, larger screws, and a different uh, way the blade is set up here. Uh, this is the older model, and you can see it has this little notch here, you know, the blade tang. Um, and a lot of people complained that when they got to put their hand in their pocket, you know, they would hand would rub on that. And so for the newer models, they actually rounded it off, and they don't have that issue. But for me, I, I found that, you know, get going in and out of my pocket with my hand, just, you know, putting my hand in my pocket, I didn't run across any problem with that. It didn't, you know, bother me. It didn't stick out and hit me. So it really isn't an issue, for me at least. Alright, so again, you do have these screws here to take down if you wanted to, and take the knife apart, as well as an adjustable pivot. I have used this knife pretty hard, so I have had to adjust it, you know, tighten it back up after, you know, whittling and doing some camping tasks like that. All right, but other than that, really no blade play. All right, side to side, up, up and down, it is very solid. Now, there's a little bit of wiggle, but not too much. So very uh, happy with that. Again, it does have a landing hole back here. Really isn't big enough for 550. You couldn't can fit some 450, but they solved that with the newer versions by making it larger. All right, onto the blade, nice, large opening hole. Really allows you to get a nice, you know, purchase on it and fling it open nice and fast. This guy is extremely smooth. I mean, the opening is just lightning fast, no resistance. Really nice. All right, again, I did get this used, so it did have some nice uh, scuff marks on the blade, which is great. But I think it gives it some character again, um, and, so, and I have put added some on there after with my use so I like that all right getting the Spyderco logo there right. nice thick blade all right. 
You do have some jimping here on the thumb ramp. It really allows your thumb to lock in there. It, it does have a rather steep thumb ramp as well, so that, again, allows your thumb to get a nice purchase and a very secure grip. The handle is extremely ergonomic, and you can see it's a fairly large handle. You know, it's, it's bigger than most folders with the three inch blade. And I do like that. It allows you to have two different uh, positions you can put your hand in. You can grip the entire grip like that, or you can choke up with this finger twirl here, which also has some jimping, which is exceptional. It really allows your finger to get a very positive grip. All right, I prefer that, pretty much choking up and, and using the knife like that. But you can you know, sit back like that if you want to. This is uh, using the Spyderco compression lock as its locking system, which is pretty much just a liner lock, you know, on the top, which is pretty cool. It does allow you to, once opened, if you squeeze it with your finger, you can close it one-handed. So it's pretty cool. So, great, great knife. I've used this for camping, for hiking, as an EEC. It's, it's been an exceptional knife, and I've really, really enjoyed carrying it. Alright everyone, now for a quick size comparison. Alright, here's the Spyderco Paramilitary that we're talking about. Alright, gonna bring in one of my favorite EDCs, my EDC for today, which is the Spyderco Sage. Alright, you can see the Spyderco Sage is just a little bit smaller than the Paramilitary. Alright, you got about an inch and a half All right, left. Now, my secondary EDC for the day, which is the Boker Subcom. You can see the Boker Subcom all the way open is about the size of the handle, actually a little bit smaller. So this, this guy is, is quite a large knife. I also did have a, some suggestions from a couple of my subscribers to compare it to something that a lot of people are familiar with. So here is a US dollar bill, just as a size comparison. Alright, there you go. Alright everyone, now let's do a little quick cutting demo here. It's going to be a little bit different. For this paramilitary, since I've been using it a lot as a camping knife and a hiking knife, I thought it would be interesting to do some whittling. And then right after that, do a paper cutting test and see how well the edge retention is. Alright, so, Swedeco paramilitary, do a little bit of whittling. So, not too bad after doing some whittling. Alright everyone, now for the up close and personal segment of the video. Take a nice close look at the Spyderco Paramilitary. See how beautiful that foliage G10 looks. Still after quite a bit of use retaining its color. Not having too many scratches on it. You can see a lot of pocket lint in there. I haven't, didn't have a chance to clean this one before I did the review. But you can see it's got sufficient use. There's a pocket clip. Some scuff marks, but not a bad thing. Open it up and take a look at the blade here. Spatico CPM D2. Excellent jimping on the back there. Golden Colorado, USA Earth. Just an exceptional tool. Great knife. Really good job by Spatico. So there's an up-close look, Spyderco Paramilitary. Alright, so my final thoughts on the Spyderco Paramilitary. 
I think it's a great all-around knife. I think Spyderker really did a great job uh, with with producing this knife. It's just an exceptional you know, folder. It, it works well in the EDC role. It works well in a, in a hiking slash camping role. You can really throw a lot at this and it'll tackle you know, a lot of different chores. Taking it camping, taking it hiking, whittled with it. You know, a lot of abuse has got, gotten to this knife and it still hold, held, has held up and has performed extremely well. I would expect the same out of the military, the larger version of this guy. So if you guys are in the, the market for a relatively heavy duty, all purpose utility, EDC knife, definitely check out the Spyderco Paramilitary. Alright, so thanks for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time.